I'd like to welcome Katie Walker, our Rural Sales Consultant for Tamaranui. She's um, had a great career with us in rural and lifestyle real estate. And I was going to ask Katie a few questions because for those looking at a career change, I think uh, Katie can give some great advice based on her, her perspective and the opportunity that Property Brokers has created for her. So Katie, how long have you been under the Rural PB banner? Um, thanks, Comrade. Um, I have been working with property brokers now for six years, um, doing rural and lifestyle sales um, for the whole time of that six years. Um, and yeah, I, I mean, I've, I've learned so much in that time and just enjoying it and getting stronger from here. Um, was it an easy decision? Because as I recall, you were had young children, very young children. I think one was probably still just being cradled on the hip. And you had a very busy farming business with contracting and uh, leasing and your own property as well. So I'd imagine um, it wasn't an easy decision at the time for you and Carwin. No, no, no. Um, yeah, the, the kids were, Fletcher was 18 months and Delphi was three weeks old. So I was looking for something for my mum brain to get myself back into the workplace. Um, we were busy, um, Carwin, we were farming um, with a family operation and had a contracting business with family running out of home as well. So we did have lots on. Um, but we, you know, as a, as a couple, we considered what we were going to do. Off-farm income was really important for us. Yep. Um, and I really, we felt that um, me picking up something new in a role that's as flexible as it is now with the family um, was going to be a good move for us. Was it challenging to get qualified and start it? And how did your time with property brokers sort of make that work? Yeah, no, it, it, it wasn't hard, Conrad, at all. I mean, I hadn't been in a classroom for years before this. I'd spent at least two years at home with kids, but um, it, it wasn't difficult. Um, the, the training team at PB make it really as easy as it can be. Um, I'm not one that likes to be inside um, as well, mm. uh, but um, yeah, it made it pretty simple and it's well behind me now. Um, did you join a big rural team there in Tamanui and was it all sort of easy to start or how, how did that all work? No, it's, <laughs> it was a pretty lonely place for me in, uh, in, in my hometown. Um, I'm the only rural agent that PB has there, um, but um, you know, with, in, in, in a big area um, with some really good operators as my competition straight up. But um, I've got a great team, rural team of colleagues around me and the support of them Comrade and, and our head office support centre um, has made it um, a whole lot easier to make some impact and get some real strong traction. So it didn't take too long for you to actually get your feet under the table because, as I recall, you picked up a, an award quite early in your career. Yeah, I guess that's the it's the it's the beauty of starting out as a as a as a blank slate or a, maybe the underdog people yep. might say, but. Um, yeah, at the, winning the Ryan's Rookie of the Year Award in 2016 um, was something I'm really proud of. Um, it's, it was a good step um, for me. It was a great confidence booster and it's also it's great for the company to have um, one of us sort of winning that award. Um, and building from there and obviously getting a few stripes is always great for your confidence. And you've always had relationships out there in the rural community and um, you've built a successful business prior to real estate around those relationships. But, what do you think's changed uh, in terms of your interaction with farmers today, so maybe from half a dozen years ago? What, what, is it at the same level or do you feel it's a bit different these days in terms of the advice? Yeah, well, I mean, it, that's, that's something why I probably wanted to get to real estate in the first place. Um, back when I started in a rural supply store at 19, um, I was really thrilled with the opportunity to be able to load bags of dog biscuits and and um, know a little bit more about you know spraying crops and and, and um, you know animal health products. And we're talking about the biggest asset that these people have probably ever owned in their life. Uh, it may have been in the family for a few generations, so it's not just their yeah. responsibility on their head. It's 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 grandparents before them maybe, and and also decisions going forward for their children and their family. So to be part of that major decision making process and to make it as, as good as we can for them, um, yeah, it, it, it means a lot to me and it adds a lot of value to the job for me. Yeah. So somebody um, thinking about a career change in real estate and like you, they um, would obviously have a career behind them or even starting out, 
Um, what advice would you give to somebody considering or contemplating real estate? You know, looking back, would you would you do it all again? Absolutely, absolutely. I would so do it again. Um, I would probably do it a little earlier than maybe than I did, but um, with how life goes, sometimes yeah. the things land and land at the right time. But um, definitely, it, it has meant for me and my family that you know, with that off-cum income that we. Yeah. That we talked about earlier it just means it opens up a whole lot of doors for my family and I you know we actually may be able to maybe I'd achieve the goal of farm ownership one day which yeah. is obviously you know pretty hard to get to these days and um, but but with you know with me doing this job and 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 all those links to my community we you know we may get there yeah absolutely I'm sure you will um, and being a mother and uh, somebody who's a key part of that local community. How, how have you been able to work the job in? And, and is being a mother a barrier to this job? And do, do you think it, on balance, how does it all play out? I, um, after I had the, ch had the kids and didn't want to go back to the eight to five job, and this was another reason why real estate appealed to, to, to us, um, it fits in with the family really well. Um, I mean, at the end of the day, I, I, I am sort of my, I am my own boss. Um, I can, the kids have got cross country on Thursday, I just make sure they've got Thursday sorted. Um, but yeah, while I'm there, I might see people that I haven't caught up with for a long time and we can chat, but um, fitting it in around family has been probably, yeah, there's lots of great things about this job, but that's that's one of the highlights, it fits in with the family. Um, so yeah, that's things like cross country, we go off to do that, we might be sharing, so it might be a couple of days that I'm in a dagging pen helping Cowan, <laughs> yeah. um, you know, in the year before I, um, you know, and then I'm off to go and look around a farm or do a viewing on a lifestyle block the next day. So it fits in really well. And uh, would you say uh, women in agriculture and the standing in which uh, they're respected and the relationships you have, um, there's been no challenges there either. You, you would argue that she's probably um, as much an advantage in terms of actually uh, the professional standards you set in the work you've done? Yeah, I mean, y you know, you can look at things um, however you like to, but I, I look at the fact that um, uh, I'm a woman in my role, I find that a, um, that's a benefit to me. Yeah. Um, and I think it, you know, it also adds a, a point of difference to the rest of my team as well. You know, maybe um, I suit to, to work with some people and, and maybe others suit to work with them too. Yeah. So I don't find it, it's not, it's not, um, Certainly not a disadvantage, and um, you know it's it's and it's pretty common now. Then. Yeah, it yeah, is. I mean, I, I'm, I'm not not one out anymore. It, it's it's great. Oh, absolutely. So um, looking to the future, if you had uh, any parting words of advice to anybody uh, taking the time to have click through and have a look at this video, what would you be saying? Um, yeah, go and go and have a look. Um, come and come and check us out. Pick yeah. up the phone. Our not our phone numbers are everywhere. Um, it ring us, ask us some questions. Um, it really has been the best decision I ever made um, for myself and my family, and I, you know, I really recommend that you check it out. Thanks, Katie. And look, in closing, we are uh, Property Brokers is putting a massive investment into its rural development program. We have um, some great candidates coming through um, and from many walks of life, uh, both tertiary and through farming backgrounds and the rural services professions. Uh, we're excited by what the career chances um, afford uh, uh, younger people coming through and actually we have um, a great level of depth in our business. We've got some wonderful senior team members who can provide a lot of depth and support. And so we have that great combination of uh, mentoring and, and a new team that's stepping up to the plate to make a difference for farming in New Zealand. So if that is of interest to you and you want a day in the life, people like Katie and others are more than happy to uh, put you in the ute and have a look around, um, but uh, the old stereotypes really don't apply these days. It's a, it's a different business and our role uh, and the values of these farms, are, uh, there's no comparison to the past. So um, all the best with your career choices and we welcome your interest.